looks like you're settling in the lab just fine. Thanks, at least bones aren't falling apart in my hands. They do require that delicate touch. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Well, we saw how that went last time. I'll refrain. Did Hendrik or Augustine tell you about the history of Kalen Cave? Ah, uh, no, but I feel you're going to tell me anyway. Augustine! Oh, he did. Oh, that's how interesting it was. Did! I didn't know its discovery was so interesting. Interesting? It seemed like a standard procedure to me. Wait, then a lot of caves here were discovered by kids. Kids? Agostine said that kids found the cave after they watched a movie about an exploring archaeologist. He told you that? <laughs> no, no. Caelan was discovered by cavers during a survey back in the 80s. There's a lot of cavers in this region, they were mapping them out. Why would you mention that then? Why would you happen to bring that up into a conversation if it was so boring and mundane? <laughs> like, oh, do you know the history about how th about this place? I... No. It's really boring. I don't know why I brought it up. Do you see what I mean? Like, uh, looks like you fell for one of his jokes. It's not a joke if there's no discernible way to know otherwise. That's not a joke. That's dumb. Seems so. Thanks for clearing it up. No problem. Agostin tends to spin things once in a while. Don't take him too seriously. Unless it's about that word. Right. That was the scene. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, god damn it. You have five more. Oh, good. I love this one overdoing the cave, and it's a shame that I picked a guy who didn't like the cave, isn't it? Oh. Well. <laughs> We did a decent job today. We are still heroes of archaeology. The Mousterian industry, my favorite kind of industry. Did that say industry? It did, okay. I'm just making sure. That's a cave hyena jaw. What do you know? There are other bones besides bear. She chuckled and focused on Joan's question, now answering in French. Fortunately, the jaw was in good condition and I simply brushed off the dirt in the crevices of the molars. Kyla was on the other side of the table, his eyes focused as he dipped into the, the pen into the ink bottle. The pen into the ink bottle? What are you using, a quill? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Hendrik standing a few feet away watching Kyla. He then approached and said something to him. Pausing, Kyla muttered something dismissively and returned to recording the find, not once glancing in Hendrik's direction. Just guessing that didn't go swimmingly either, he's just so approachable. Melissa, when you're done cleaning that bone, can I talk to you for a few minutes? Oh, what, do you want me to clean your bone? No, I'm not in your room. His smile was kind, but his eyes seemed troubled. And I nodded meekly. I wonder what this is about. Once I cleaned and recorded the jaw, I placed the document next to the tray filled with cups. Carefully, I inserted the jaw into a bigger cup, then ins entered the museum. Sorry for dragging you away from everyone, I thought it'd be more polite this way. Did I do something wrong? No, it's about Kyla. He grinned to appease me and tapped the paper he held. I've noticed you've been neglecting to sketch the findings for the grid at the bottom here in the most recent documents. Oh, that's what you wanted to say? <laughs> well, I think you'll find this pretty embarrassing, but uh, <laughs> you've been neglecting to sketch. What? I appeared at the blank section. Oh my God. Self-voicing disabled. Why would that be in a game? <laughs> Self-voicing? I don't even have the Windows 10. Uh, whatever. Let's pretend that never happened. Did you see what that was? You better have fucking forgotten. I peered at the blank section. Is it important? Extremely. It's great that you're recording the dimensions, but you're not telling us the position that it's found in. It can mean the difference between a bow deposited from natural processes or physically placed there by human activity. I'm not my uncle since I prefer the kiss approach. Shrug. Basically, don't forget to record the context. Despite his attempt to keep the conversation pleasant, I sense the weight behind the words. I'll be sure to do that from now on. I'm really sorry. You probably lost some valuable data because of this. Aware of my guilt, he gave me a comforting pat on the shoulder. You're acting as if no one else made mistakes like this before. It's an ongoing learning progress. <laughs> it's, it's the risk we take by letting students fucking study here. For both of us. You're lucky you decided not to excavate today. I can tell Agostin I've already spoken to you. His lectures tend to get lengthy. 
Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I summed up the conversation to Siri. Was that it? I should have checked on your documents more often. It's not your fault I was getting careless. Still wish it was caught earlier. It takes a while to sort through everything found. I will Steen and Rosemary are still going through findings from 20 years ago. Now I'm lucky my mistake was only caught a week later. <laughs> what? Huh? Whatever. So we're going to play catch? No, we're still inquiring. After lunch, I entered the laboratory to ask questions as usual. Rosemary stood before the centre table with wooden boxes full of various stone tools and flakes. What's up? Rosemary blinked out of her trance and turned to me. Flashing a smile, she made a sweeping movement with her arm to direct my attention. Oh, trying to refit this collection. They're all pieces from the same layer, and I'm trying to connect them. That sounds difficult. There's easily hundreds right here. Think of it as getting a box of pieces from different jigsaw puzzles. They don't tell you how many pieces are missing or how many puzzles they're from. No pictures to help you either. It's a huge accomplishment even to pair up one. Why are you tri- whatever. And now I'm forbidden to use glue. Ah. Yeah, I did hear a snippet of it. It seems Augustine and Hendrik don't like it when collections get fiddled with. Agitated, she slammed both hands on the table. What a clever thing to say, Melissa. Roll her up further. Nothing can go wrong. They disapprove of removing anything from their precious order. Everything must remain in its properly recorded place and stored away. Oh god, can you imagine a warehouse with this woman in it? <laughs> uh, your stuff is in uh, the B section. But there's 26 letters and you're using them- Ah, uh, look, it's the dead B somewhere. <laughs> they pay more attention to context and the microstratigraphy than actively putting the pieces together. I feel like I'm the only one who wants to learn about the Neanderthals. Ah, uh, they're so, so... Why don't you fuck off somewhere else if this is a problem you're having? Just, just a thought. Boneheaded. No, more like rock-headed. <laughs> Boneheaded. Because we're full of bones. <laughs> and she's a cunt. Because, but you see where that's going, don't you? Forgive me for resorting for one of Hendrix's puns. Anyway, I'm the, oh, I'm the one who studies all of the technology. I even craft my own weapons and tools here to demonstrate. If you'd like, feel free to help me. Seeing it up close is fascinating. <laughs> if you'd like, feel free to help me. What a thing to say. Just watch yourself. Many of the blades and edges are still sharp like you. Sure. I pulled up a chair focusing on the nearest pieces. So these are all from Kalen Cave? Of course. Every single one is documented and accounted for. If a flint was found in the wet screening, though, it'll be missing some coordinates. The variety was stunning from small flaked pieces to others that resembled axes or thin knives. I picked up one and brought it to her attention. Oh, fuck me, this is an interesting conversation, isn't it? How were they able to accomplish this exactly? Cherie did lecture to me about it, but it was mostly sketch diagrams of the final product and not the process. Depends on what they're planning to do with it. For example, make a raclois axe points. The one you're holding is a raclois. Also called a scraper. Okay, I'll add scraper more. Scraper. You can see it was beautifully retouched by pressure flaking at its edge here. They'd use a burin. Uh, think of it as like a chisel with a pointed end. So it's like a chisel then. And apply force until it snapped a flake off. Good for finer details and to resharpen tools. Neanderthals were clever. They knew how to get long use out of their tools. And they had more control than the previous stone tool industries. I say industries, is it not ages? Or oh, sub ages? I don't know, I don't do this. This is clearly meticulously researched, so anything I say is obviously going to be wrong. And this one? I picked it up, the stone had an odd bulb near the end, following, followed by ripples along its surfaces. It reminded me of a shell. That's a conchoidal flake. It could be retouched into a re into a tool if needed. It was easier to carry lightweight flakes than large into. Oh my god! Yes, you are. But well done me for stopping on this sentence. Dear me, I'm blathering on like some old cartoon owl from a kids show. If you'd like, I can show you some of the stuff Hendrick and I published together. It'll give more. In no god, no. Ah. Oh. It's not interesting! Really, I'd love to see it if you could email or print it off. It's fine if you're the one researching into these things or if this was really here in front of me. But this is a dumb, silly, light-hearted, unoffensive dating sim. I... 
you know, there's not even pictures here. I couldn't even use this in real life, okay? It's sort of defeating the point if you're sitting here lecturing me for 10 minutes about, oh, well, this is how Archie. Good, great, I. Good. I was awed that they had published works, but now that I had thought of it, they probably published updates or findings relating to Kalen Cave. It sounds like you and Hendrik have worked a lot together. We attended the same university and we went to similar classes, obviously published some papers together too. Um, I hesitated but decided to be frank about it, it had been nagging at the back of my mind for a while. Are you and Hendrik a couple? What? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> a boy and a girl who were speaking together, that must mean they're couples. Fuck me, I'm in a relationship with a lot of people. If every time you speak to a single lady as a man and you're good friends, I must have a- I must be in a fair few relationships by this point. Shit. I need to stop! God! Don't get me wrong, I love and adore Hendrik, but as a friend, I'm not attracted to men in that way either. Uh, that's one way of saying it. Anyway, about the papers. I'll talk to Hendrik about it, since I know he'll have them on hand or in digital format. Why is my name being mentioned? It's because you're a prick. It's it's not. Oh, Hen, speak of the devil. Melissa and I were discussing sharing our published works with her. Oh, God. Oh, not those. Oh, Hendrik, the voice of reason. They're all badly worded gibberish with convoluted sentences and in an attempt to sound mastery smart. You're over-exaggerating. And they're uh, in French. Some are published in English. You know, I don't have to look at them if you don't want me to. <laughs> Yeah, please, please never get them out. I'm satisfied with my recent work, so I don't mind sharing those with you. His first published work could be boiled down to, gee, these 60 million year old mountains sure haven't changed much in 60 million years. I had to pick some. That's actually quite amusing. And it was still time consuming compiling all that data, Miss G, these Neanderthals preferred to use local napping material. She pouted, then ahemmed to change the subject. I'll gather the newest articles, the ones written by Rosemary and me, cover locations of material used for napping. I mean, why would I want to know about that? Isn't napping something we've been doing for a hundred years? I mean, I took a few the last week. Uh, while the ones I've collaborated on with my uncle explain the stratigraphy of Cameron. Sounds good, it'll give me something to read over the weekend. Please don't read that. Hendrik glanced over the, the collection on the table. I'm guessing Rosemary finally gave you one of her spiels? A bit made out for missing out on the presentation earlier. True, Agustin had decided it was easier to explain stone tools himself since there was only one English-speaking student present. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Thanks for sparing me that. Must have been, since everyone left ten minutes ago. Sherry was looking for you. What? I glanced at the wall clock. Ah, uh, thanks for the reminder. Later, Melissa. Uh, and thanks for the talk again, Rosemary. <laughs> she says, sarcastically. Now to play... Ah, oh, we threw it right at his head, but he caught it. What a hero! Oh good, more cleaning. Can't wait. Five. Vroom. I got the worst possible RNG twice in a row. Fuck that king. <laughs> Uh, twice I got nine, what nine four five or uh, five four or something. Ugh. This evening is more festive than usual. <laughs> is this? I can't tell. Is this a light day with a night filter over it? I think it is because I don't see how the shadows would be a thing unless there was a huge light above the building itself. Good, good. Just a few. It's weird because it's sort of half light and half not. Like it's been sh shaded mildly, probably, and there's stars in the sky. Oh well. This evening is more festive than usual. There was a party here every night, but this was one of the liveliest I've seen yet. This is the last week for most of the students here. That's why they're all celebrating. What's let's party in French? Vamos a la fiesta. <laughs> Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Fuck's sake, I thought they'd at least include the word let's go. No, nothing. Nothing. Faire la fête. Or you could simply say, célébrant. Isn't fait a verb for make? Well, I mean, what he said was something different. Make, do, act. Basically, you're saying make the party. 
that sounds more engaging than let's party. In English, we should say let's make party from now on. No, that sounds like broken English. You dig? Oh, God. It's interesting. I don't think it's going to catch on, Mel. Watch me. It'll spread like a catchphrase in Mockets. I don't know what that means. My eyes wandered over to the dance scene, which was pitiful in my eyes. There were a few casual participants, some with a beer in hand. Well, that'd be me. I had a feeling if no one else joined, it would dissolve like sugar and tea. A shame. I hated seeing an empty dance floor. Well, I mean, you say that. I spotted Chantal and Joan chatting away and decided to join them. Later, DeAndre. Cheers. We're ditching him? And we haven't moved, we've just gone to the same place and they happen to be here. Good! It's right outside the campus. Something up? Here to say hi? Hi! Hey, Joan. Hey, Dexter. Hey, Chantel. Got there eventually. You could say that I was waiting for the night time to, right time to dance. You should grab a partner and encourage more people to join in. True. Even if club music was not... <laughs> club music. <laughs> At least it'd get my feet moving. Who should I ask? DeAndre was an approachable guy, I'm sure he'd be willing to dance to a song or two. Just... If you ask someone to dance to you, unless you're really close friends, be prepared for them to get the wrong idea. I spotted him with another student, chatting good-naturedly and sipping beer. When he saw me, he raised the bottle and gave me a nod of acknowledgement. Welcome back, Mel. I was wondering. I pointed to him, then myself. Me, you, me, on the dance floor, winking. Uh, thought you'd never ask. With a chi... <laughs> yeah, sure, this... I bet he's a really good dancer. He, he, he's gonna be, because it's a game, but... Uh, with a cheerful grin, he placed the beer down on the table and accompanied me to the dancing area. Careful not to bump into anyone else, DeAndre said something to the person with the MP3 player. The current song stopped after a few seconds of abrupt music clips and more upbeat tune began. Good, it hasn't changed. Good. I grooved into a simple sidestep pattern. <laughs> You grooved into a sidestep. Oh, truly, master of dance, teach us all, for we are unworthy. <laughs> Shuffling as I watched DeAndre perform similar moves. They were simple, but there was a flow and grace to them, and I smiled. Well, I mean, you're complimenting yourself. Not bad, you're quite the dancer. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I've seen the uh, Jonas Brothers film. I don't remember what it's called. It's that terrible Disney film about them going... Camp Rock, that's what it's called. <laughs> Let's say, them going to Camp Rock. And there's a moment where one of the Jonas Brothers... I've seen this because I was watching it with my best mate with his little sisters. Okay, we had to. It was the only thing on the Xbox was broken. Okay, don't judge me. It was awful. But there's this one moment where Jonas... I don't know, the one with the abrasive hair, for lack of a better term, I don't know their names, walks up to a drummer who goes do 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 on, like, the pavement, or like, the side where he's sitting on, and he goes, you've got talent, kid, keep it up. No, he doesn't! He just did, like, most basic thing you could show anyone for, like, 30 seconds and they'd get into, and then suddenly you're like, oh yes, look how talented he is, this is what this is. Oh look, he can do a mild, crappy sidestep, look how talented he- No! It's not the same thing. Look, he can kick a football in the same, like, in a straight line. Well done. Like, he... Uh, you should be a professional foot. No, you shouldn't be a professional footballer. Uh, me? Barely. I can only do the basic moves, like washing the windows. I... Well, our prediction was right, and that made what Melissa said all the more sillier. He demonstrated the dance move, his hand waving back and forth against an invisible barrier and driving the car. Uh... The only difference now is that his hand mind are gripping a steering wheel. Usually that's enough to convince a girl to leave the dance floor with me. Well, too bad, I like dancing longer than that. I swung one arm until it touched my hip. I continued with a body roll up to my chest. Club dancing isn't usually my scene. No, I'm a Lindy Hopper. Think swing. <laughs> when you're from California, you dance swing? Ah, I guess. I thought we were being stereotypical. I thought that was our character. Our steps mellowed out and we swayed side to side as we continued our conversation. Lindy Hop, like throwing your partner into the air or something? Aerial moves are optional, yes. Can you demonstrate some of the moves? The basics, no flipping. <laughs> Just flip something to you in a second, mate. Can't exactly without a partner. The beat doesn't match. Still want to? Why not? I stepped forward and put my right hand in his while my left hand rested on his upper arm. First, we make sure we're square. Your other hand goes near to my shoulder blade. From there, we did a simple step back, then to the right before transferring our weight to the left, then back to the right. My instructions were simple and DeAndre followed my visual aid. 
Soon we had a little rhythm going, disregarding the faster beat of the music as we made our own pace. Picking up speed, DeAndre got bolder and made a spin. I guided his arm as we continued energetically. Whenever you're ready, stop and bend your legs slightly. After another spin, I saw his cue and immediately put one foot into his knee to hoist myself up. I planned to surprise him by jumping back. However, he caught me before I could touch the ground, hugging me close as we whirled around. Uh, what I was hoping was this we were going to trip him up. <laughs> uh, clinging to his shoulders, I squealed in half terror and half amusement. DeAndre, put me down! I didn't expect it! At first I was worried we would collide into someone, but he was wary enough to break away from the crowd. After he lightly dropped me to my feet, I noticed a lot of eyes were on us. The stairs were followed by applause and laughter. Yeah, I'm sure. A, an awkward college party where no one's dancing. Not really had enough beer, because we've only been here 10 or 15 fucking minutes, and suddenly everyone started whooping, did they? Mm -hmm. Had enough or think you can keep up? Please, we're just getting started. His hand darted around my back again and we continued our strange mix of Lindy club dancing. Once the party reached its conclusion, the music stopped, people trickled back to the tent area, myself included. I thanked DeAndre for being my dance partner and retired for the night. That was it. Good. I had a good time, it felt a forever since I'd last danced with a partner. Oh, well aren't you, aren't you glad you were present for that? <laughs> oh, hooray, something I'm finally good at, okay. Right, and whoosh, I guess. Right, okay, I think I've got it. Hooray! See, I'm a hero at Pycross, basically, is what this is. Stone Tool Akas, aka Silex. Kyla's already half done with his... We just aced that? He's somehow ahead of us? Fuck Kyla, man.